I'm going to go through what I think the main differences are between these two models so you can make the best decision you can if you are going to buy one. So let's start with the basics. This one here is the Instant Pot Duo Crisp and this one here is the Instant Pot Pro Crisp. So traditionally this is the more expensive model and this is the base model. The ones I'm showing you here are both mine. I bought them with my own money and I've been cooking with this model for ages. So these are the Instant Pot models that have the air fryer lid and these are big and they need storage. So if you haven't gathered that by now please bear that in mind. So the difference between the two, well they're a different design, they're a different aesthetic. I really like the new design on the Instant Pot Pro but really it's just a matter of what you like and what fits in your kitchen. And these are both the large models. So the Instant Pot Duo Crisp comes in two sizes. You can get a 5.7 litre or an 8 litre. And the Instant Pot Pro Crisp only comes in one size, 7.6 litre capacity. If we haven't met, I'm Susan and this channel is all about finding ways to cook to reduce stress and keep things a bit calm in the kitchen. Instant Pot is one of my main tools for that. So don't be put off by the large size, by your family size. Think more about how you cook and whether you want to get into batch cooking to save some time and give your future self a lovely present. So what's in the box when you get the Instant Pot Duo Crisp? Although this is my old Duo Crisp, I've checked the contents and the contents are pretty much the same as when I bought them with one notable and disappointing exception. I'll tell you about that in a minute. So we've got here, I've got the pressure cooker lid on it. So you've got your standard Instant Pot pressure cooking lid and I'll tell you a bit more about how the seam valve works a little bit later in the video. And we've got the trivet and when I bought my Instant Pot Duo Crisp the trivet is so good because it opens up and then the legs lock into place so that you can put a pot on top of there for pot and pot cooking. But I know from people in the community have told me in the comments that it no longer locks so you will get a similar a trivet to the one I'm going to show you in a minute from here. Then you get your air fryer basket and the little stand that it comes on which, which clips off for cleaning and you get the grill or broiling layer that sits on top and allows you to do some grilling close to the top of the air fryer and also you can use that for dehydrating and then of course you also get the air fryer lid quite heavy so the whole thing is super heavy Get ready for that when the box arrives. So that's the Instant Pot Duo Crisp. Now let's show you the Instant Pot Pro Crisp. So the Instant Pot Pro Crisp comes with its pressure cooking lid. A little bit different, redesign. Talk more about that later. Comes of course with its air frying lid. Same design, fits on top, does that air frying. And then inside the Pro Crisp, you get again a trivet. Not as good as the one on my old crisp because it doesn't, these legs don't lock. If there's any manufacturers watching this, please look at that old design on the first generation of Duo Crisps because having these legs lock makes this a much more useful thing. And exactly the same design. It doesn't look to me like anything's been upgraded on the air fryer basket. It's a ceramic coating. It does wear out. I don't like this coating at all. So if you've already got the Duo Crisp and you're a bit irritated by this liner, I'm afraid it's the same thing. So that's what's in the box. Pretty similar for both of them. Now let's move on to the first feature that I think makes this one worthy of thinking about upgrading. So in the Instant Pot Duo Crisp what we've got is this lovely stainless steel inner pot. I'm a big fan of stainless steel. It goes in the dishwasher, makes life easier and this is still as good as when I bought it absolutely years ago now. And it's got a slightly concave bottom, no handles. So it's absolutely fine to cook with. I cooked with it for years. The pot spins. I 
I actually quite like the spinning, but lots of people don't like the fact that this pan moves around as you're stirring stuff in the pot. And then when you put this in the dishwasher, because it's got that slightly concave kind of dint in it, it does gather water here, which is just a little bit irritating for some people, including Mr. Cooking and Calm. So it's a great pot, very durable, but there is a difference when it comes to the pro. So if you've seen my video on the Instant Pot Pro without the Airflyer lid, you might already know this. But the Pro Crisp has been upgraded with the new model bowl, which has silicon stay cool handles, it makes it much easier to lift the pot out. And that also has a flat bottom and it is really great for the kind of cooking where you're doing a slow saute or a flash fry sear. It is just a much better pot. And the fact that it's higher grade and it's got this flat bottom means that it's hob and oven safe. So you can use this on an induction hob, gas hob, whatever it is that you use. And it will also go in the oven if for some reason you need it. But you don't really need that because you've got an air fryer lid. So if you do a lot of cooking in the Instant Pot, you're gonna really enjoy this upgraded inner pot. Now let's take a look at the control panels and how it works and for that I'm going to need to plug them in. Okay so these are slightly different in operation but they have quite similar functions. So for the Instant Pot Duo Crisp we've got all of these buttons along here are related to multi-cooking, pressure cook, saute, slow cook, steam, sous vide and the buttons along the bottom are to do with the air fryer lid functions, air fry, roast, bake, broil and dehydrate. Broil is grill for anyone in the UK, so I'm, my early model says broil. And then on the Instant Pot Duo Crisp, we've got these temperature buttons here and the time buttons there for adjusting. So pressure cook, if we want to adjust, it has low and high. Temperature doesn't work here. Saute, so again, to adjust, we've got low and high. And slow cook, we have low and high. And then you can adjust the time using these time buttons and then click start and you'll see that once it's on that's the information that you have so it's really straightforward to operate it also has the keep warm button and the delay start so keep warm you can leave that on just to keep your food hot at a very low setting so you don't have to be here when the, the program ends and delay start if you want to set something away in an hour's time say uh, you can use the delay start to use that. So now let's have a look at the Instant Pot Pro. So we've basically got an updated control panel here. Same functions, pressure cook, saute, slow cook, steam and sous vide. This time the button's going vertically. And same principle as the original Duo Crisp. We've got air fry, roast, bake, grill, and dehydrate and then you've got the same buttons delay start keep warm cancel and start so not a great deal of difference apart from we don't have the temperature change and the time buttons uh, and that's because we do that using this extra button here which gives you uh, a bit more granularity in how you can adjust things so let's try pressure cook and again we've got pressure cook here pressing the button twice doesn't make any difference on this one we're using this so um, we can turn the time here let's put that on three the display will flash and you've got high and low pressure settings and then you can delay start if you want to by six hours or whatever uh, and you can have keep warm on or off on both models and then you would just click start. So here's one of the differences. With the Pro Crisp, we've got a lot more information here about what's going on. It's not only telling me that the cooker is on and cooking, but it's also telling me that it's in preheat at the moment. And then it will carry on informing me all along the way where things are in the process. Now, I do quite like that actually, but before I had it, I didn't know that I missed it, if you know what I mean. So that's one of the differences. You get a lot more information there. And then there's a difference that I have loved using the Instant Pot Pro and is here on the Pro Crisp. And that is that we've got more settings when it comes to saute. So we've got the time, we adjust the time. So for saute, we've got low, we've got high, same as the Instant Pot Geo Crisp, but we've also got custom. So if I click into here, I can use a one to six setting. 
I really do like that because I find that the hot setting for saute on the duo crisp and the duo range is a little bit hot for a lot of things that I'm cooking and the low is a little bit low so I'm constantly kind of shifting the bowl about trying to get the temperature right. This is one of the ways where the Instant Pot Pro Crisp has an advantage over the Instant Pot Duo Crisp. Now the eagle-eyed amongst you might have spotted that neither of these models has a yogurt button but don't worry because it's really easy to make yogurt in either of these instant pots and any instant pot actually that has the sous vide function so I've got a video on how to do that don't let that lack of yogurt button fool you you can do it. So another difference I think might really matter to some of you is how the pressure cooking lid works on both of these so let's take a look at that. So let's show you a real world test because I know that the pressure cooking side is probably the most intimidating for most people. So let's get these lids off and they both have a minimum of two cups of water. So both lids have a similar locking mechanism and they auto lock. So when I do that, it's actually already set. Everything on here is ready to go for pressure cooking. And we've got a slightly different look to this one, a different button. And again, if I just close that lid, it is set for pressure cooking. Let's do the Instant Pot Duo Crisp first. I'm going to put it on for pressure cook high for, let's just do it for one minute. Start. And same with the Instant Pot Pro Crisp pressure cook. Move down to one, it's already on high. Click start. It'll be interesting to see if they've got the similar timings actually. Let's see. So now you can see a difference in that the Instant Pot Duo Crisp is just showing you that it's on and it's on high for pressure cooking. Instant Pot Pro Crisp is showing you that it's on and that it's in the preheat stage and again pressure cooking and higher on the display. So you can see a little bit more information with this one. So now with the Duo Crisp the mechanism for releasing the steam is the same as the others in the Duo range. When we get there we will click down on this to let go of the steam and the steam comes out of this one here. If you're at all nervous you could put a dish towel around your hands and just press it down. Honestly I don't find it a problem but if you do you might prefer this new mechanism. So for the Instant Pot Pro Crisp we use this button here to release the steam. I don't find that that different in terms of where your hand is. But what it does have is this cover here, which is linked to the function called Whisper Quiet. The steam comes out more slowly, more diffused, and it's also a bit quieter. I'm totally used to the sound of pressure cookers, but if this bothers you, this is a bit better on that more expensive model. Now the Pro Crisp looks like it might have heated up quicker because it is already, yeah, it's gone into that one minute cooking mode. Oop. Two minute, 44 I think it was. The Instant Pot Duo Crisp hasn't quite come to heat yet. So look, in doing this real world test, it is actually quicker to come to preheat. But I've just heard, yeah, the pin is now up on the Duo Crisp and it is 341. So it's just a little bit quicker to preheat. I'm not sure that's significant enough to matter, but it's interesting all the same. So the display, the Duo Crisp is just still on on high and now it's just moved across to that one minute and it will start counting down so now you've got all the information you need and the information you have on this one is that the cooking bars are full and we're in keep warm. So we know now that the Instant Pot Duo Crisp is finished because it's got this L here so it is now finished cooking it's gone into keep warm mode and if we're doing quick release on the Instant Pot Duo Crisp I will just press this button here and you can see it is a bit of a gush. I don't mind, I have it near a window usually and you'll know when it's depressurized and this little pin will drop. There it goes. Over to the other one, in we go, we'll get a gush. Definitely quieter. Mm. 
you can see that the once the initial burst of steam has come out, you can barely see that. I find it hard to get it on camera. It's just quieter and more gentle, basically. And then with both of them, it's just a matter of twisting the lid, opening up, shake that water off. And you've got the fin there to hold your lid while you do any stirring or getting your pot out. Same thing here, press cancel, lift it off, shake off that water and same thing you've got the handle fitting there so that you can get in and do any stirring or whatever you need to do. So both of these have now got the air fryer lids on so let's have a quick look at the settings for air frying so all along this bottom row we've got air fry and we just adjust the temperature here, adjust the time, click start, off it goes and then we've got roast presets, bake, bake is adjustable, roast, adjustable, broil or grill, that is just set in terms of temperature, you can't adjust it, and dehydrate we've got there and we can change the temperature and the time. And then pretty much the same with the Instant Pot Pro Crisp, air fry, and just a different mechanism, we can adjust here, change the timing, change the temperature and set it away. There it goes. And same again, we've got a roast preset that we can move around, change the temperature just by pressing the button. Same with bake, same with grill or boil. You can change the time, but we can't change the temperature on grill or broil and dehydrate some again. Same way of doing it. I think that these models are more similar than I expected. They're both excellent. The defining difference for me, especially if you're already used to pressure cooking and you're not worried about steam release and stuff, the main feature is this lovely new inner pot and being able to put that on the hob. And I've got this same pot in my Instant Pot Pro model and it really is better for searing and sauteing. That flat bottom just gives for a better cook. But for dump and go, for stews and sauces, getting your chicken in and browned, the Instant Pot Duo Crisp can do it all too. And if budget isn't an issue and you're new to pressure cooking or you're a bit concerned about that steam release issue, you may find that it's worth the extra money, especially if you can get a bargain, to get the Instant Pot Pro Crisp. You can see what's happening on that display so you can get confident with cooking. You've got the lovely inner pot that gives you a lot of flexibility and you've got the whisper quiet steam release. It's still a gushing steam release right but it's a little bit tamer than the duo crisp so the choice is yours but what i found super surprising is that i thought the instant pot pro crisp would be very like the instant pot pro but with an air fryer lid on top and you know what it really isn't. So if you want to see the Instant Pot Pro and how the functions work on there, take a look at this video here and I'll see you over there.